Often sold as street snacks in Holland, Stroopwafels come from the same town that's famous for its Gouda cheese. Now, each Stroopwafel baker has his own specially guarded secret combination of ingredients, and usually passed down from uh, family lines from generation to generation. Bakers also have their own special baking irons. As a result, Stroopwafels have varying tastes, varying shapes, and various designs. This is a non-stick electric waffle cone maker. And when you open this up, you can see, and this one's already heated, just a very plain geometric square design. This one's plain. There are others that are more fanciful. And it should stay locked until you're ready to use it, and then unlock, open, lock when it's full. So first, your dry ingredients. One and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. One quarter. And one cup. Some salt. Quarter of a teaspoon. After the salt, just whisk the dry ingredients together so there are no lumps and it's good as sifted. So let that stay right here and then you're going to whisk two eggs, two large eggs. Room temperature. Whisk those until frothy and add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. And you can whisk as you add the sugar. What you're really making is almost a crepe dough, pancake dough, but for this show, we're considering it a cookie dough. And a quarter of a cup. Look how pretty that is, gold and yellow. Now add a half a teaspoon, just a half a teaspoon of lemon extract. And two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And now a third of a cup of melted cooled butter. you can add your dry ingredients. In early recipes, leftovers and bakery crumbs were used to bake cookies sweetened with syrup. They were called poor men's cookies because they were very cheap to produce. So the batter is quite dense and to get it onto the waffle maker, I'm just going to add this to a pastry bag fitted with a half inch round tip. So now this does not have to be buttered or anything, just a two inch circle of batter right in the middle. Lock it shut and it cooks in a minute and a half. That's just about long enough till it's a nice golden brown. And have a little offset spatula, a cutting board, and a three and a half inch biscuit cutter ready. What a beautiful waffle. So take this and place it on your board. Immediately get another stroop waffle on the waffle iron. And while this is still quite hot, cut it with your biscuit cutter. Now these are the scraps that can make the poor man's cookies. But there you'll have a perfect round waffle cookie. Now doesn't that look nice? Now you wonder how the bakeries get them so perfectly round. Biscuit cutter. This batch of batter will make uh, 18 cookies like this, nine complete with a filling of caramel. So the cookies are all done. Look how beautiful they are. And now to make the caramel filling. Always use a heavy gauge um, pan and turn your burner on to high, a quarter of a cup of water, a tablespoon of light corn syrup, 
and one cup of granulated sugar. Bring this to a boil. And by not introducing any other a spoon or a spatula, you can minimize the amount of crystallization that takes place. You can also use a brush like this with water and just go around right above the syrup itself to prevent any crystallization. You can even cover like that. That'll create some steam on the top and then it'll fold down the sides of the pan and also prevent crystallization. Either way is effective. Now have one tablespoon of butter, the scraped seeds of one vanilla bean, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and a third of a cup of heavy cream. I think we're dark enough. Add your heavy cream. Slowly, you don't want it to erupt. Your tablespoon of unsalted butter. The cream and the butter stops the cooking. And your vanilla seeds. Stir them in and put it right into a bowl. Look at that beautiful caramel. Just the right color. And if you want to cool this off quickly, ice water will be very effective. So the caramel is sufficiently cooled and we're ready to use the caramel as the filling for our stroop waffles. Put caramel on every other half a stroop waffle. This will spread. We just place the other half right on top and proceed with the rest of your stroop waffles. These will be a big hit at any dinner party. Lots of fun, don't you think? I do.